All right, guys, I've got a great tequila review for you today. This is one of my more favorite bottles. Uh, inexpensive, accessible, great Blanco tequila, and that is Tapatio. The Tapatio Blanco is uh, something that I tried out. It's got this red uh, plastic cap. Uh, super, super nice. Um, I have just very, very uh, fond memories of uh, this particular tequila. What is Encio? I have no idea. Does it mean return home? Okay. Uh, so let's go to the Tapatio tequilas. Let's see. Will it let us sample this? Check it out. There we go. So I'm going to skip over the aroma and taste piece. I'm going to go to the about us. I don't want to influence my, my tasting notes. Uh, tequila Tapatio is for those seeking the highest quality. Our commitment is to keep the attributes that distinguish our company from over 80 years with the touch that only the artisanal handmade process can give to the authentic 100% agave tequila. So this is not the most expensive bottle. Um, I want to say for, this isn't a 175, this is actually a one liter, I believe. Uh, yeah, one liter. This was like $46, I think, a total wine and more. Um, I think this is totally worth it. This is tequila that is good enough to be drank as a sipping tequila, but it is inexpensive enough that if you want to use this in mixed drinks or a margarita or a Palomo or something like that, that I think this fits absolutely fine. Let me go ahead and go through with some of the tasting notes and then we'll go back to their website to try to take a look. And let's see here. Like I said, it's got this uh, red cap, which um, is interesting to me because you think like, I don't know, plastic cap, cork, like what, what's more fancy? And it's like, nah, it's really the alcohol inside. I will say this though, this little plastic piece, I love these on bottles. If you were a tequila maker and you were listening to this, please, these are nice because they really prevent dribble when I'm trying to pour uh, some of the tequila. I think that'll be enough that I can get a good smell and also just a good uh, flavor profile out of that Tapatio. So the first thing that hits my nose is this interesting note that I've not gotten from other tequilas, but it's almost like plastic. Um, it reminds me of like these little putty erasers we used to have in grade school, I buy these little white, like specialty erasers that weren't the, the rubber, uh, colored, um, sort of pencil, uh, number two pencil, the, the eraser, they weren't that, that pinkish color. Behind that, I get like notes of roasted agave. There's a touch of alcohol on the back. But when I first had this, it was almost like, am I smelling the plastic? Like it, it just had this aroma that I hadn't picked up with other uh, tequilas specifically. So I was trying to figure out where, where it was coming from, what it was. Uh, this is a tequila that will probably always be in my bar. I, I have huge fondness for this specific tequila. So there's some, some deeper kind of vegetal notes. It's a little bright, a little sharp. Uh, maybe of almost like citrus. The the roasting, but it's not like um, a reposado. It's not like wood. It's not like it's been rested. It's just there's something about that roasting process of the agave. There's a little bit of, of a caramelized flavor. And again, that whatever that that strange scent is, it almost smells like. Um, have you ever had like stickers that were like scratch and sniff in the '80s? It kind of reminds me of. There's something almost. I hate to say this. I'm almost positive this is a completely additive-free tequila, but there's something about it that smells almost artificial.
spicy, sweet. Maybe think of honeycomb slightly. Very broad uh, flavor profile. It's complex in its spiciness. It reminds me a little bit of pepper. Um, I, I'll go ahead and say, since I've tasted enough, they constantly compare it to white pepper, and I think that's a more accurate representation than black pepper. It's robust and spicy. Um, reminds me a little bit of like Serrano chilies, maybe, in its spiciness. Uh, and when I say that, it's not capsaicin. It's just the way it makes me... Uh, feel in my mouth. I think also there's notes of, I just talk about that. Uh, it's not the flavor of Sichuan peppercorn. It's the sort of numbness on my palate and the back of my tongue that I get from it. The smell is just robust. Like I said, I can sip this, I can savor it, but it's not so expensive that I don't feel like I can't use it in a, a ranch water, some, some sort of mixed drink. It's fragrant, evocative, sharp. Um, got a slight sting to it, that little bit of numbness uh, on the mouth. Absolutely great tequila. Let me see what the, the website says now for its uh, tasting notes. Uh, let's see. Tapio, and let's go to the Blanco. Aroma. The first impression is herbal with hints of mint and anise, followed by white pepper and spices like cinnamon and clove, mild citrus notes. Nice. If allowed to breathe in the glass, apple and floral notes will appear. Taste. Cooked agave, mint, pepper. I didn't pick up the mint so much. With a residual sweetness, white chocolate, slightly herbaceous, presents a long, final, spicy and sweet at the same time and very complex and rounded and i agree i mean i think my tasting notes are getting a little bit better from practice and trial and error also understanding how other tasters are describing certain things and you're like yeah that is the note i pick up the essence of agave who do not enjoy tapatio blanco could very well stop drinking tequila because this is exactly what silver blanco tequila should be and what do they do? Oh man, they give recipes. Good Lord, I got to tear through this. I want a Tapatio Summer. What the hell is this? Better preparation. Better preparation. Oh, dude, you're killing me. You guys did good on your website. This is pretty nice. There's a little bit of information. It's not overwhelming, but it kind of steers me to what you got. Let me see what the Excellencia is. Grand Reserve. Four years of aging and first you deep charred American white oak charred. Oof. Mahogany color, dark amber, reddish heat tones, great body, essential oils, vanilla, maple, caramel, apple. <clears throat> I, you know, it's one of those things like I'm, I'm looking at that and it's like I'm excited to try it. I wonder how much it is uh, for a bottle. Uh, it doesn't really say here, but anyway. The whole thing is, I'm, I'm still stuck on Blancos primarily. I'll probably uh, stick with these for quite some time just because I think this is what I enjoy. I'll probably over time branch out a little bit occasionally into some Reposados or Añejos just to mix it up. But it's really interesting to go to the websites and realize that even what's at Total Wine and More is only a partial representation of what the companies have available. Okay, yeah, I can get that clove. Yeah, that makes total sense. I can totally see that. Anise, a little bit, a little more clove. Inter interesting. Great tequila, man. Absolutely great. I um, love this particular bottle. As I said, this will probably always be in my bar. I think this is just a superb tequila. It's inexpensive enough that the next party I go to, I'm probably bringing a bottle with me to let people sample it. 
You could put it in a mixed drink, uh, just really well-rounded. Uh, really appreciate the company and the people of Mexico who produce tequila, uh, produce agave, blue agave to make these. It's wonderful to make myself a little bit more familiar with these traditions uh, via your wonderful, wonderful spirits. I'll see you guys again soon. Uh, you can check out it's tequila tapatio.mx. Again, that's tequila tapatio.mx. And if you just look up tapatio tequila, you can find it online. On mine, it says en period tequila tapatio. Wait, tequila tapatio.mx. But you can check it out online if you need to find the website. Go ahead and check them out. And if you have not had a bottle of this, I really recommend that you try it. It has some unique uh, aromas. That thing I talked about where it smelled like scratch and sniff stickers from the 80s or whatever. And to me, that's not a bad point. It's just like a particular nuance to this. So, for instance, I've seen um, sommeliers talk about certain uh, wines and having a flavor of like when you open a can of tennis balls. It's something akin to that. It's got a certain uh, something on the nose to it that reminds me of like that plastic, almost like artificial flavor. But I'll see you guys again soon on Salud with Robert Gardner Wellness. Thank you so much. And if you have any tequilas that you want me to review or beer, please just send me a note, message, comment. I'll be happy to hear from you. And I'll see you guys again very soon. Thank you to the people of Mexico. I'll see you again soon on Salud with Robert Gardner.